नमस्ते सपे साथी हरले थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बीइंग हियर बीइंग देयर इन फैक्ट टू सेलिब्रेट द 10th uh, anniversary of Nepal School of Social Work I'm sorry I could not be there uh, physically with all of you as you, as you can see I'm with you spiritually I'm thinking of you and I'm really missing you I'm really happy at the same time because uh, 10 years ago at the, the same day we have started uh, the Nepal School of Social Work or Kadambari Memorial College in the uh, St. Javier's Auditorium I remember Father P.T. Agustin uh, and uh, the Professor Mishra and Joyce and Joes Pranita Udas and uh, Padma Kadambari and other founding members who are very happy for what we've been doing 10 years ago today uh, at the end of this 10th year I'm very happy and remember what Margaret Mead said what she said in 1950s she is an American uh, cultural anthropologist she said very clearly never doubt a small group of thoughtful committed citizens can change the world indeed it is the only thing that ever has this you know quote always you know reminds me what we do at Nepal School of Social Work Nepal School of Social Work is a small but active dynamic school as you know as you have made, uh, experienced we are a very small group of faculty we are a very small group of students we are a very small group of friends and colleagues and um, visitors uh, who actually made this place a place where uh, ideas can be tested so never doubt this small school of social work can actually make changes and we've been making changes in the last 10 years and I'm going to tell some evidence because at the end of the day we need to speak facts so to me the story and the journey of the Nepal School of Social Work in the last 10 years is the same in terms of numbers we are very small maybe at any point of time we have less than 100 students and maybe less than 10 faculty members in terms of numbers we are small but you know the kind of work that we've been doing is not really small and that is evident during the recent mega earthquakes so in the last 10 years the school nurtured more than 200 social work graduates and about 50 and 60 are in the classrooms about to go into the real world we are now all over the Nepal and beyond many of you working uh, um, Malaysia Thailand and US recently I received another email from Rumira's Bandari going all over the places you know I have many evidences to quote that in the last 10 years our graduates are doing a great work they're bringing positive changes in the lives of the people and communities that they're working for and they're working with I met some of our uh, colleagues and uh, students classmates uh, recently in Sindhupal Chok uh, the field visit that I made after the four months of disasters they're working for Magna and they're so happy and they're so committed to work uh, for the for the uh, victim survivors they themselves being victim survivors living in the tents and helping others so I can give you many more uh, evidence or facts to show that Nepal School of Social Work has been a very proactive school in the last 10 years. That means we have survived, not only survived, but we are thriving. The number of faculty members are also very small, as you can see, you know, but they're very highly motivated, committed to their work, and they are always wanted to nurture you. And that's the, I think, uh, the crux or the strength of Nepal School of Social Work where faculty members are committed to the goal uh, that the institution has stand for in the last 10 years again the school of course faced a lot of challenges for example we had to move the campuses three times in the last 10 years we are still in rented buildings we pay a lot of rent you know to these buildings from the fees that you pay first our campus was in Thapatali very small two classrooms then we moved to Shankamul in 2007 we have about I think 10 classrooms and now we are in Budhanagar, Shrama, Mark and Kathmandu. We need to move places because you know we are growing and also you know we have to meet the demands and the institutional requirements and the classroom you know uh, space that we require to do our work. So we need to move but I hope one day in the near future we will have our own purpose built campus where you know uh, we can do a lot more work. I request our donors and well wishers to help us to build our own uh, uh, campus in the near future. I'm sure we have to move again from this campus because we were not able to pay the rent 
you know because the numbers are coming down so what i mean to say here is in 10 years we have achieved a lot but we are also facing a lot more challenges but we have not only survived but also responded to the recent disasters as i said in the beginning we are now working in six different communities um, in three different districts Kathmandu, Dading and Sindhu Palcho. Again, this is not a small task and commitment for a small school like Nepal School of Social Work. But we could do all this because, and I want to thank all our parents, well wishers, friends, social work colleagues like Prof. Lina and Prof. Vimla, Prof. Vishanti and many others from all over the world have come to us, gave their comforting words, gave their wisdom and suggestions, raised funds for us and actually they were behind us and to, to, to deliver uh, our rescue and relief work in all these places. We have reached more than 6,000 families and that was possible again with the Data Institute of Social Sciences, Prof. Jacqueline, Prof. Asha Banu and uh, other colleagues. And I remember uh, meeting three uh, Tata Institute students staying uh, on the campus right now, working with our students and delivering services. This is a testimony. This is our story of 10 years of hard work and commitment and also global partnerships to meet the local needs. To me, this is a powerful social work and I want to thank each one of you for being part of this story. I also believe that each one of us at NSSW, we have now Moli, we have Anna, we have uh, Annabel, we have Morris, all our global you know, colleagues are also very special because we have been united by a common values. We have not been united by a common race or ethnicity or nationalities. We are bound together by common values and a common vision for social work and a strong commitment that we stand together and strive to make social work a recognized and respectable profession in Nepal. Very soon we will be recognized by the state, I'm sure. We're rewriting the constitution and I'm sure uh, our lawmakers will recognize our good work and will give a legitimate place for all of us in the Nepalese social work history. So I want to reiterate that we, our hard work has been paying and it's paid already and it is already showing some positive results. This is what excites me. This is what motivates me to work with Nepal School of Social Work and with each one of you. We are the only active school of social work, if you remember, in Nepal and is the only member of international associations. Why we need to work with international associations? Because we want to make our voice heard by the global partners and global actors. So we are the only I mean, school, uh, part of uh, the International Association of Schools of Social Work in 2009, thanks to Prof. Anji, Hong Kong Polytechnic University, who paid our member dues in the beginning. And today, me represent Nepal School of Social Work and University of Science Malaysia at uh, the ISW as a member at large. I bring your issues to the forum there, and that's how we re we've been receiving a lot of you know, support. Our school is also a member of the Asia Pacific Association of Social Work Education the past week since 2007. Again, we've been playing an important role and the recent achievement came from Dr. Rory and the IFSW recognizing the Association of Social Workers in Nepal, the SWAN. The head of the SWAN now, Dr. Dili, who is our former campus chief. So these, you know, testimonies, evidence shows that NSSW not only spends its scarce resources and energy on teaching and curriculum developments and classroom training but also it spends its resources on uh, building the social work profession for Nepal and we've been, been lucky and fortunate to have a global colleagues and national partners to make our dreams a uh, real. I'm sure SWAN in the future will make its uh, uh, presence in the global world and bring recognition uh, to a social work profession in Nepal. But I'm also do aware that there are many more challenges, difficulties, that the journey, the, the road ahead is very difficult. This can only happen, our road, our journey can only be smooth and, you know, uh, comfortable only with a, a robust social work education and teaching and training. To make this happen, again, University Grants Commission and other universities in Nepal has to come together. Maybe we need to form a council on social work education where there will be uh, global standards, there, there will be monitoring, where there will be support for the social work faculty members. I urge our international partners to lobby for a council on social work education in Nepal, which actually builds uh, uh, further the social work education, which in terms 
supports the social work profession in Nepal. I wish we will, uh, we will work towards uh, this dream in the next 10 years. I do not want to make much of your time. This is a time to celebrate and reflect and share and joy. So I want to conclude my this few minutes of sharing by remembering uh, our British social work pioneer, whom I like very much, Eileen Eng husband. She said in 1963 very clearly, and I have been quoting this in my work, if a school of social work does not live dangerously, I repeat, if a school of social work does not live dangerously, it is not always seeking for change and progress in its own teaching and in social work practice. Then it is not making, the school of social work is not making the contribution to social work improvement, which society has the right to demand of it and the obligation to make possible. I believe and I'm sure you all will agree to say that Nepal School of Social Work has been truly, you know, uh, imbibing these values. It is living dangerously, it is working proactively, it works with all kind of diversity and communities and as you see, we meet all the criteria that Eileen Eng has been stated. She advocated this all, all through her life. I'm actually becoming a little emotional here that, you know, we spent 10 years together. I have learned so much from all of you. And today I'm able to contribute at the University of Science Malaysia, working with different students and different colleagues from all over the world. Let us reaffirm our commitment and join hands and hearts together to achieve further goals for Nepal School of Social Work and Social Work Profession in Nepal. Thank you so much. Namaste.